Hey guys, uh, just doing a video, a test video on this Variac here. Um, John High Voltage Project pointed out in my last video on this um, Variac that the actual uh, voltage on my analog multi, uh, my analog voltmeter here, wasn't actually increasing as I turned the knob to maybe a quarter of the way around there. So what we're going to do today is actually prove to see if that is the case, whether this is not working properly, or whether maybe the uh, the voltmeter wasn't working properly. So. As you can see, I have counted each, each individual winding on this Variac. You get a little digit per 10 on there, and then added it up and got to 382. So if I use that 382 on my calculator, so if I take 250 volts, that's what we get here, divided by 382, and that will give me a voltage per winding. So there you go, 0 0.65 volts per winding. So if I measure that now on the voltmeter, here you go, and turn it on. Turn this variac on, I'm running it from the variac. Take it up to 100%. Just a little bit down, just to get that 250 volts. So we'll measure just to make sure it is 250 volts. As you can see guys, 251, that's pretty close. Uh, one thing to say is that this is a completely live test. This is all on, this is very dangerous. I'm an um, electrician, competent electrician at that, so that's fine for me to do this, but anyone with uh, very little experience, I really wouldn't advise trying this kind of thing. Use ohms instead and just get um, readings like that, but for today we're doing it with volts just so we can show basically what's going on. So if I measure now with my probe very, very carefully sticking onto that winding. Now the first winding I can get 0 0.66 volts. So that's about right, you know, for the first winding. If I go up again, it's very tricky, it's very tiny. 1 1.3, so yeah, that's about it again. So uh, what I've got here, there is a mark and that shows 25% of the way around, 50% of the way around just there guys, and three quarters of the way around there. So half of 250, no prizes for guessing, is 125 volts, there you go, 126 thereabouts. That's good for the input voltage, it varies ever so slightly. So if we go down to a quarter, Ooh, that's very tricky to get onto. There you go. So that should be 62.5, which is pretty good. That's very close. And then we'll go around to three quarters, which is just here. And that'll get us, should be, hold on. There you go, should be about 187, 185. So that's pretty good. So we can prove with this now that the voltage is pretty consistent. If I start here, and brush it along you can hear it clicking guys so you get an idea this multimeter is a 6000 count meter so when it gets to 60 it will go a bit funny you can see it's increasing nice and smooth getting all of those volts there that you should do it's not jumping up too crazy or it's falling off There you go, we've gone a quarter of the way and it's where it should be. 70. This is tricky, guys. Try not to uh, electrocute myself on that. That would look pretty silly. Very, very carefully. So, yeah. So, that's going up nice and evenly, especially on the first quarter. So, that proves that it wasn't the Variac actually causing that to happen. It may be might because of the way I was turning the knob on the top. Because obviously you can't turn some it quite as constant if you're doing it with one hand. You can turn it like that, which is a lot smoother. Maybe I should try that. Or maybe I should attach some sort of knob onto here so I can have it like a, a fork truck uh, steering wheel, you know. <laughs> Make it a bit more consistent. So if we start from zero on this one. Okay, and then take it up to... 25% so yeah it's a little bit 
40%, and that's not too bad. Might have just been the way I was doing it, it's not quite consistently enough in the first video guys, but as you can see that's pretty consistent. quite responsive. Could be the speed of it, obviously if you move it quite fast it takes a little while to respond. I can show you by turning it off. It takes a little while to respond these old analog meters but they are great for um, for showing you guys a nice visual um, indication of the actual voltage I'm using for stuff instead of a, a multimeter like that which gets a bit upset when it goes to sit over six on any of the um, numbers on there this tends to go into an OAL and then it drops into a different um, a different actual um, order of magnitudes that on there so um, yeah it's just an easier way that's why I use these meters guys it just makes it easier for you guys to see on YouTube especially if you're not aware of, uh, watching it in a um, in full quality it just makes it that little bit easier as you can see it's a pretty big pretty big meter I'm not touching the back guys <laughs> but yeah uh, plug safety first, it's all off. So yeah, there you go. It's uh doesn't seem to be any problem with the um the increments in the uh the voltages on there and also if it was to actually be shorted because it would cause the it would be a lower resistance so that more current could flow in there, you would find that the core would saturate very quickly and also cause it to hum quite loudly where this is one of the quietest actual um very I own. Don't mind that. They're all pretty quiet. That one's pretty quiet. This one's not too bad. I've got the uh, 1225 tucked away under there, guys. That's 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 a bit louder, but that's because it's bigger, really. So yeah, hammers in proportion with size by the look of it. But this one is pretty quiet for its size and doesn't seem to have too many problems with it at all, other than just the insulation issue, which I have just today had the enamel delivered for it so as soon as I've got that all stripped off there nice and evenly I can start applying that onto everywhere it should go to except the where the brushes contact onto obviously so yeah and uh, that that's just a permanent marker which comes off easily with an isopropyl alcohol so that'll come off I haven't graffiti that I'll leave that on there actually that's quite an easy reference so I won't have to count it ever again but yeah so that's proved that guys, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video and uh, hope that makes things easier to understand and also for John, so it's just proof that it is um, not the very accurate, it's the way I was turning the knob, so that's what she said, <laughs> sorry I couldn't help that, <laughs> yeah, so uh, take it easy guys, hope you've enjoyed, take care and see you all again, see ya.